Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Um, I've got this radio here and one of my viewers have actually spotted it on my workbench and said can you make a video about it. Um, um, well I can't really tell you much about it because I'm not a big radio expert and this is before my time. Uh, but it was sent in for repair by somebody uh, and it actually came on for about five minutes and then the, um, the audio output valve started glowing cherry red. Uh, which is uh, an ELL80. Now that's actually two valves in one encapsulation. Um, so the first thing I thought, oh, it must be the grid capacitor, one of the grid capacitors leaky, um, because um, I measured about 16 volts positive on one, one of the grids. And of course, you shouldn't have any positive voltage at all on the grid. Uh, so I took the these two grid capacitors, one for each uh, side of the valve. I actually took them both out and measured them. Um, and they did test okay but I thought to be on the safe side um, I'll just put two new ones in uh, because they might go leaky when they warm up uh, and of course uh, that didn't cure the fault it turned out to be the valve itself um, so I'll just show you I've actually got the back of it um, it's a Grundig RF250U slash stereo um, so what I did is I actually uh, I changed the valve and then there were one or two other problems with it as well. So the only place the positive voltage could be coming from on the, the grid, well, one of the grid pins on the valve, was actually inside the valve itself, um, either leakage or a short inside the valve. Um, so I've swapped the valve for a brand new one. Uh, now this is of course um, a pinnacle which I wouldn't have thought would be the one that was fitted in the radio originally. Um, now, a friend of mine says these valves, because it's actually two valves in one encapsulation, he said they're very, very unreliable because of the amount of heat they dissipate. Um, so it, it could have been that this has been changed quite a few times in the past. Uh, but anyway, I put the new valve in, and, and that cured the problem uh, with it um, running to grid current and heating up. But then I found the valve base was very, very intermittent. If you moved it about, uh, the heaters would go off and the radio would, um, would go completely dead. So I've actually changed the valve base as well. Uh, but I've made a little bit of a modification to the valve base. Let me show you. So that's the valve base I took out. And of course, when I took it out, it all fell to bits. All the pins have dropped off. Um, but it's very, very tarnished inside and there was definitely a poor contact. I don't think you could have taken them out and cleaned the pins. So I've just put a new one in. And what I've put in this B9A ceramic base, but I've actually fitted one on some very high pins. Um, because the amount of heat um, this valve generates, um, there's a tendency for the uh, PCB to all char. Uh, and that can cause a lot of problems. So I've actually fitted one of these new old stock longer ones so it stands up off the board and it keeps the heat away from the board. Uh, now that's the two uh, grid coupling capacitors. Uh, that's the cathode bypass uh, capacitor which had dried up a bit. Um, the cathode bypass resistor, um, it, although it measures all right, you can see it's got very, very hot. Um, so I've changed that for two one watt ones in series um, there was another capacitor I found somewhere else faulty I've changed that as well and um, well that's all I can say about it really uh, we can switch it on and listen to it but really that's about all I can tell you right so that that's it it's up and running let's tune it in that's the magic eye there and the stereo indicator the first 15 minutes of the are still really important. Um, you get to 60 odd minutes, it's still 2-0, or we nick another goal to get you free. It's a completely different game. Then we can start thinking about, right, let's get these off, let's get them rested. Um, but I'd be surprised if you took them off at half time. Derby have done all this and played so well without one of them. Us trying to help us. Not only our sponsor, it is um, a lot of people in Vivilis can try to help us to learn English. As a lot of support. Is it possible to live normal life for us Ukrainians here? 
That's the FM stereo light. You can see the magic eyes right to the middle now. Uh, when we start to rent uh, this uh, cottage, um, only my husband to work, and we have no. Right, so we'll turn the volume down. Let's just take uh, a quick look around the back now. Right, that's that's the new valve. Well, you can't actually see, but that's, that's stood up. If you look at the one next to it, it's stood up a bit higher on the new base. You can just about see the new uh, two new uh, grid coupling capacitors there. Um, that, I think, is the FM stereo decoder module which actually plugs in like an valve base um, and you can see that I'm running from the outdoor aerial because there's virtually no reception in here without uh, an outdoor aerial um, there is of course a built-in FM aerial uh, on the roof there but that doesn't work very well here um, so really um, there's nothing more I can say about that And that is, of course, the on and off button. All right, guys and girls, many thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.